Alright. Hey guys, what's up? Cool. You're one and only how all my adventures doing. So just got off work. So now I can play a little bit more of Grand Fantasia Violet and check out a few more things they have. I've been checking like quite a few of the weapons before I actually started. And they they're alright. I can say that. Oh, I'm clicking this somehow. Stop it. Okay, so I can still claim that from yesterday. Okay, that's actually very nice because I almost forgot to claim that yesterday. Now I can go ahead and claim this. We're gonna go talk to the captain if he's still over here. They haven't uh, changed him. The little turkey's over here. Okay. Kind of weird that it doesn't auto travel you, travel you to him. But what I will do is go grab this uh, town portal. But yeah, I just got home. Just sat down to play some more. While I have the downtime before I actually like have to start working on my game again. Wait, where are you? Oh. So I go to the last known location. Alright, so they don't have the Gravitasia function to where portals start opening the further the level you get from what I know of as of right now. But we'll probably see after level 16. I It, it feels weird not to see anything there. <laughs> Wait, is there apparently a quest for this? Oh, jail. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Now we teleport back and start grabbing uh, quests. Ah, so nobody does goblin enforcer stuff here either. Huh, interesting. We're not doing that quest. I never touch the gimmick quests. Mostly a waste of time. Okay, what was in here? Nah, eh, we'll just save that off. What's the next mission? So we gotta go back and talk to that dude. And that is just a oh or peak quest that gives five gold. Okay. Fuck it. Why not? Wait. Did I level up my quest? Oh, yeah. I did level them up. I don't think I was on the right screen when I was leveling them up, apparently. Either that or they just... No, that's not what happened, because these, this one disappeared, too. Okay. Gonna have a lot of things to kill. Then again, they are level 12. Pretty much out level this area. But all the quests that are level uh, 
1 through 60 have been enhanced. But then again, I don't know how old that uh, the website info is. Because it probably, more of it probably could have been enhanced from the last time uh, they actually updated that. Oops. That's the archer again. Oh no, it's a sword. Nah, I'm about to scratch my eye. I say, didn't see the screen at first. All right, so. You're not getting it right now, huh? Okay, there we go. Makes me wonder, how did they do Nightmare Corridor? Does it still have terrible drop rate? Or did they make it better? Because trying to get your level 100 gear was actually very annoying. I was about to say that I just get more than I needed. No, it's the same name. Okay, so I guess that's a different thing. But very easy way to get money and keep up with your gear, which is nice. Let's go do this one right quick. Oh, and auto alchemy you can just straight up buy? That's actually very, very nice. It makes me wonder. Okay, no, it doesn't seem like everything else's times go for selling either. Which makes sense. I just wanted to make sure. A lot of the NPCs are going to have different things as well. Noted. That's going to be interesting. Um, you. Anniversary project. Now Druid declared. Okay, so on this side. So what is this? This is Gaia's gear. Huh. That's interesting, but you have to get like 
birthday crystals? How would you get the birthday crystals? That's going to be the fun part to figure out. That classic reward is still there. And now we're going to do the same thing we always do. They're going to give us this, and now we got to follow the quest line. Okay, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to see if they had. Uh, did I just get a quest for a... Uh... Yeah, I did. Hurricane is open. Back finger in that, I don't know why, but change, change this around. Ah, that's why it changed because I locked it when I was uh, updating my skills. So what is this one? I figured because I didn't know what the name was. Um, Warrior. I am not getting anything towards Priest right now. Okay, let's go get this item. Because this is new to me. Guess we should start checking every last quest. That's the Duke quest. That's the full quest. Mysterious Island. That's just um, Dark Sprite. Which I really don't care about. Need to do the dark sprite stuff yet. Okay, back to what we we're doing. Oh, I gotta go talk to Owen. He's in here. So, what are we getting out of this? Okay. Well, the bag is useless to us. It's cool to see that we get everything out of it. We got the candy stuff. Got some other extra stuff.
Okay, so we get this for level 31. I don't think it's gonna take us a lot to get there. But I guess I should start checking out our class, making sure nothing new has popped up yet. I wonder if they changed, um... How sprites collect. The sprite can just collect quest items and that's it. Have they made like it more distinctive? Or did they keep that the same? Done for a while, did weren't you? Does it give a point? No, it does not. That's, that felt like it stuns a lot longer than it should. If I was able to find a hammer right now, that would be great. How many do I have? Okay, I need two more. No. Oh. Okay, I'm done with the deer. I should be burned. Cease your activities. Okay, so you... I apologize if I'm not as energetic as the first video. I'm, I am pretty tired at the moment. <laughs> so that quest has been turned in. Any other quests? Alright, we need another one from you. Go out, do your job. Where is... Oh, the... It's kind of weird that you can't see... the stun effect above his head. Hey, I gotta go back to Gates. Bill Gates. All the way over here.
to kill all of you. Come here. What? Literally one HPers? That's crazy. Yeah, it looks like they come out of the stun, but it takes them a while to, like, respond. That kind of puzzles me a little bit. Yeah, like, look. Yeah, you. S yeah, it takes him a while to respond. I wonder how lenient this private server is. It's a real question. Are you allowed to stun bosses? <laughs> will other enemy, will other bosses be affected by um? Hold on. Let me go collect these. Will other bosses be affected by the whole certain effects thing? Because I know some of them, some of them are immune, like late game. I'm gonna save these quests in these other areas for the next run for reincarnation. If I do actually play it past that, who knows? I don't know, not the Easter Pirates. Did they give it to me? No. They only give sadness and lies. Um Okay, so now we teleport back to Gates. Oh, this person is in the next area. Yeah. Sprite Forest. We're gonna hide these for now. We'll try and follow the actual quest. If this is on try. Sprite Island activation. Guide. A lot of stuff we gotta go do. Also wonder what their quest limit is. Mega Adorable Seal. Is that even a finer name than that? <laughs> Also keep an eye on like fame and stuff like that. Because inside of the official server, fame does not and I repeat it, it does not scale well. You would end up having to farm for hours on end for your fame to come up. It doesn't follow like too much of like your leveling. It's like here I just got a thousand five hundred just for turning that quest in. In official server, I would probably get like a hundred or two hundred, which would be terrible considering you would have to halt so much of your progress when turning those quests in. God awful. Let's go turn these quests in. Saying, wait a minute.
He's gonna make me go talk to all these people. They're in each major city, so I don't have to walk through a whole bunch of enemies here. Wait, are, is it using two or one teleports? Actually, you have not been paying attention. It uses one. Oh my god. That's... That's something that I never could tell why it was a fucking thing. It's like, why are you using two teleports stones instead of just one? Seems like very a very unnecessary thing to use two transport stones. Like these things are freaking <laughs> freaking lifesavers when it comes to like questing. It just feels like they just the devs are just like, hey, you know what? Why not use two of them? Yeah, that that'll that'll help them, right? <laughs> Like, fuck no. No, it does not. Like, if you could not. Last one is here. This is the one you'll be coming back to very often every time you are ready for your sprite to go up, which is your character level base. Is It, it is not based on your sprite's progress. It's based on your progress. Ah, it did exactly what I was talking about. It shifted the lock button out of frame to where I cannot click it anymore. That's exactly what I was talking about. So, Sprite Island is open now. Uh, Sprite Island also got a few buffs as well. This gamer has that. Uh... Oh, okay. Had that have a thousand good wait, what? I don't remember it being like that. Then, then again, I unlocked my sprite like years ago. My sprite I unlocked years ago on my druid. So it just carried over to every account. I wish there was a share bank that did the same thing as much as uh, they shared your... As much as they shared your um, sprite island between accounts, I wish there was like a way to share items between accounts. If I remember correctly, I have to scavenge for that. Train scavenger for that. Okay, I don't need mages. Okay, the hunters are done. Wait, one more view. At least we got the movement speed. Yep, there it is. Okay, got that. Ooh. 
next phase. We need... Damn, that's white. Um, is this blue? Shit, no, that's not blue. Okay. We'll just scavenge this then. Uh, right after it gets to 12. <laughs> what is this? Stopped at 10. Okay. While that is going on, I will bring up the rest of your skills as well. Still staying over there in that same spot, huh? I normally choose my spots to AFK in if I'm like on my throne. <laughs> Town. Ooh, they gave three instead of just one. That's nice. Don't you do what I think you're gonna do. Oh yeah, bench. Damn it. Yeah, I gotta go buy another bench now. In order to progress. Oh no, you came back just in time. Hey, can I have that bench since you aren't gonna be needing it? Since you're just collecting shit? <laughs> I didn't. I totally forgot about that. I don't know why I gave it to you. Well, sca scavenge, actually. Oh shit, no, not you. Here. So, so far... Whoops. It seems free to pay friendly. Gold is actually easy to make. You can just go ahead and buy it from NPCs. The bank is... Well, not the bank. The auction house is a little bit... Iffy. I guess it really depends on how much gold you start making in, like, late game. Honestly. I scratch my back. Hold on. Okay. So let's see. Got that. Okay. So we need one more from you. So I guess the only the first few parts they've like actually upgraded of that quest. They still have the material bags, okay. I want to try and keep up with quests this time because the material bags actually actually do help with progression. And I stopped doing them. Which was a big no no. Something I I should have ne shouldn't have neglected. Wolves. Oh, I need Goblin Mages now. Okay, cool. I can go do that. Uh, any other quests that I need? That one. Alright. I'm gonna bring up the quest line board that they want you to do. 
Gravitasia. Questline. was it? Let's type in wiki. What is, what is going on? Oh, how? Oh, how? I was, saying, I, was, I was sitting here like, wait a minute. What's all that be even? That shouldn't be popular right now. Okay, I don't remember where I saw the whole questing thing. Because there was like this big like questing wiki page that showed you like all the quest lines. Um, is it Matt? Ah, there it is. The world. It would show you all the paths you can go down. So you would start in... You would start from here to here. Then three. After this, you would want to go to shell. Then when you're done to shell, you would go here. The, okay, so it's the old quest line that I did too, to where I did all the areas. Interesting. So I, I've always been doing that. Well, for the newer characters, I've been doing that. I haven't really been, like, actually, like, actively doing that. I like to stay in touch with people, you know, when I can. I say, but then again, ADHD makes me forget things a lot. 
to where I won't talk to like one of my buddies for like a whole three years. Well, no, for a whole like three months, and we'll still end up talking to each other like we like we haven't seen each other since yesterday. <laughs> Now, that's the kind of friends I normally, you know, have around me because they know I have ADHD. <laughs> and most of the time we are busy. So, you know, yeah. I try and keep in touch when I can. That does remind me. I need to hit Apollo, see how he's doing. <laughs> oh, that. I never did any of the um, photograph stuff. Ah, there's priest outfits. Nice. Too bad I'm out of the level four. <laughs> Literally, you just gave it to me as soon as I got out of the level four. memories now. Expected a lot of great things. I was expecting some interesting servers. It seemed like everybody has their own ideas. But I do understand that it's gonna take a while because most of you gotta remember Grand Fantasia is on a very, 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 and when I mean very, a very old system. <laughs> like, it's crazily old. This has been out since, like, what was it? I don't want to say 2014. I feel like it was older than that. No, I think it was 2014. Hold on a second. Now I gotta see. But I know Grand Fantasia is like extremely old. Extremely old. 2009. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was about to say, no way it's 14. I am definitely bugging. So, uh. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting the hunting wolves. Go, my little seal. Go. Faster. Oh, shit. I almost typed in world. Don't you bite me. If I say level 31, I bite back. You know what I always wanted? For Druid. A taming ability. I always thought that would be like so dope to come out here and lower their, their HP and tame them. You could just level them up and once they die they just you have to go out and tame another one. I don't know dude that just that just always sounded sick to me. Just go out just to grab like a wolf or something. <laughs> oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm trying to collect and hit at the same time. But I need to now do scavenging before that gets left behind. Because I know myself, I'll forget. I've done it before. I normally get in the rhythm of getting my sprite max and it's just like, boom, forget. So I guess we'll go in and get and do Gates quest while we're at it. I wish I would make some of these quests. Well, I think all of them are not turning green okay i think we're still in the in like 
the good area to where we can still get XP. But if I was to travel to a low level place like over here, all of those quests would become green. Which sucks. It does. It does suck. What in the party? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Hey Gates, how you doing buddy? Can I have my gold? Thank you. Am I missing a quest? Because I could have sworn you had a quest that I could collect. Now that's weird. That is... This is odd. This bothers me. Oh, I could have bought the book here too. Kidding me? But it's kind of weird because these books actually show up here, but you're not allowed to pick <laughs> an area. Let's go make a well make sprite sword. So we need an arm sword. Let's go upgrade our skills. So what the gold multiply? Oh! Your skills cost nothing. I haven't been paying attention. I'm stupid. Ignore me. I'm a dumbass. Druids prevail and can actually keep fucking gold in their pocket for once. Because <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw in memories, like, I was losing massive amount of gold. I told you guys, Druid is gold heavy. It's not even a fucking joke of how gold heavy it is. Okay, so now we go to... Wait. Ah, this, this is the wrong sword anyway. So now we go... I want to go back to him. So something I'm sad about, and that I liked from the fish server, that they kept giving you transport stones. Doesn't feel like they're trying to give me transport stones inside of this one. See, that's a little bit off limits. No handsy touching, you know. Unforch. Unforch. Hi. Here it is. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. Hold on. They are doing the same thing that uh, Grandpa Dave is doing. So I can teleport to those. Okay, nice. The official server is doing that, and this server is doing that. So in the official server, when you hit a certain threshold of a level, and this hits green, you open up the teleporter for that area. For whatever area turns green, you can go to. Fantastic. I love that. That was a big change that they made inside of the fish server that I was just like, ooh, yes, perfect. Don't change it back. Because <laughs> going to those were, were a pain in the ass. Okay, so did I get any new stuff? Oh yeah, I got my region. Really got nothing else here. So I guess we're gonna go down the Kazal route. Then when we reincarnate, we'll go down the next route. A hammer. Please tell me that's a hammer. Fuck no, it's 
it's the jack of all trade <laughs> for the travels. This does make you want to try out a lot more classes though with how fast you do level. Cause I get to keep going to the next levels. I could dungeon rush right now. I could. And this one so far, I know I can. I'm not sure if they've updated their dungeons to where it's a lot harder. Which is not a bad thing, you know. People like the challenge. We're just playing just, to, you know, to relax and not get frustrated. Some people like the solo, some people like the party. There's always a choice for each player. But building a party is a lot faster and you cover a lot more bases. Most of the time, building a party is mostly for, um... Mostly building a party is mostly just for the repeat quests and getting levels in that gold from those, um, hunting board quests. That's most of the time people would just, you know, party up together just to get that, like, said and done. Everybody just splits up and get a boss, kill, and get out. Hear that or everybody go together, kill one boss, go to the next, kill the next one. Do they talk about these items? Because I'm curious. Okay, no. They don't just tell you straight up where everything is or give you any hints on that. On the achievements. I could easily start achievement hunting. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I did enough of these trivia things on the official server. I'm not redoing that. Especially when there are two points. Fuck that. Can't be asked. Oh, yeah. Two of the hardest bosses is the spider on this map and the spider inside of Moon... Moonlight Forest. For like early, I'll say if you are like low level, there's a chance you could die by if you're playing Archer or if you are playing um, Priest because you don't have enough skills or enough DPS. Yeah, to lead you away from that. But since I level it, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about it. For most of the game, you are gonna be physical. Well, you're gonna need physical de uh, defense. Magic defense doesn't show until like early in the game. Towards like um, Phoenix Tower is where some magic damage started to come into play. But if you actually want to know, oh, there's this one doesn't show skills. I think it does show skills inside of dungeons. I don't. I think it's for like outside mobs though that it shows skills. Unless they change that. Uh where are you at now? Okay, you're there. Keep going.
I say that I was say let's see how many points we do. We got um so three points for that, so I can have up to ninety-nine. Up oh, no. I wish it would stop at the the limit of how much I have instead of going like all the way to max. Why is curse still so high? I'll keep saving. It's no point in just to rush it now. Oh god, I forgot how slow this is. Uh, do we have an axe that we can throw in there? Yes, we do. I really forgot how slow this was. Oh shit. Yeah, we're supposed to be making the sword, not doing that. Uh, hold on. Keep that going. Sorry, ADHD kicked in and had to multitask. But yeah, so far... Uh... No TP. No TP stones. Hammer? No, just more priest outfits. A few. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm about to say, in a few more kills, I should level up, but these guys no longer give me XP. Well made, there we go. So, I need the well made sword, so we're gonna do that first. Gonna hop on this, go talk to Jessica, who is in the main city. Make sure you don't have a quest before I start heading back. I think that should be all yours, right? Yeah, that's all of yours. Okay, so back to the main city. I will tell you this, once we get inside a PC dungeon, it's probably going to be a lot faster. On leveling. There we go, we can start collecting buds. Oh, Jessica, uh, there's an enemy that you want me to fight, right? Yep, what's this? Is this a couple mission? Oh no, this isn't. You lost your pocket watch inside of the fairy cave. I will take that. Oh, it's from... Okay. It's from Doggo. I have never done that mission. That actually... Threw me the fuck off. I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute.
You got the summoning realm, but that's still a thing. Okay, so that's the Easter egg uh, quest that you can do. Oh, Dragon Biscuits. Dragon Biscuits normally give you like uh, max HP. I have to figure out how to do those quests. Yes, also, they do have their own wiki. Oh, that's nice. So what's this? Oh, that's actually neat. I love this. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay, so what we're doing. What else? Hey, right, we needed one more of this. So Yeah, you know, we're just gonna keep training this because we are gonna try to finish this off first. My little thing is do you sell more than just one? Oh my god, you do. Oh, thank fucking God you do. I was sitting here and thinking to myself, I wonder if he sells more than just, you know, the average stuff. He actually does that. That's wonderful to see. That is um, PC cave dungeon, right? Oh, no. The, you're right here. I forgot about that. Okay, that quest is done. Oh yeah, this is another material dungeon. I totally forgot about this. This is where you can start getting your like scavenging essence if you uh, don't have scavenging. There's like a little uh, mini dungeon, repeat dungeon, depending on your level over here. I know a lot of people don't know about this. Which I totally forgot to mention because I keep forgetting it exists. Okay, so now we can make the well-made sprite sword. So, is there anything else we need? Okay, so this is still the same reward. Nothing has changed on this. So, what is this? Yeah, level 10 grayed out already. That quest is done. That quest is done. That quest will be done. I still hate that it teleports me all the way up here, but you know. Now I would go to the Sprite Forest and turn this in. So. This is also a thing too, once you get your bird, you can 
Go over here and level it up. So now it's 15. You can probably get it up higher than that, but we're not going to. Okay, so that's done. Now it wants us to go to Sprite Force, which we'll do after after other stuff. But first, things first. Let's go and get ready for a uh, fairy cave once we're done with all this. I also want to make sure I don't out-level dungeons. That's another thing I'm trying not to do. No, not you. Um, turn that off. I still don't see how that counts as a Kazlau City quest, but, you know. Well, never mind, because you have to keep going back to Kazlau City for it. If I remember correctly, this is like a big wolf that you have to fight. That's where one of the dark sprites like spawn, right here. So this one basically does the same thing as the one that's inside of the town. You really don't have to wait for the sprites to show up inside of this, thankfully. But if you ever do end up in a private server that doesn't have that set up, there's one right here at the street. I am curious to see what mana source actually does. Does it actually lower mana cost? Because if it does, oh boy, that is going to be crazy. Especially with some of these gears I've seen, like purple gear, like regening your mana a hundred per second and your HP a hundred per second. I was just sitting here like, damn, dude. That's a lot of freaking region. Ah, I gotta go help my family do something. I will be right back. We're gonna have to take a little bit of a intermission right quick. That's a that's actually a decent amount. To like get towards this point because man trying to gain this is insanity inside of the official server good job on both servers for finding a way to give people like fame very quickly without having to go through all the bullshit that's for sure all right i am back that was crazy that first part was only like an hour usually it would take like three three or so hours to even get the parry cave depending on if you had a mount or not the movement speed just makes 
a difference, a huge difference. It's great. I love it. Ah, that's something I wanted to check. Um, does this one have dungeon mounts? Yes, it does. It does have dungeon mounts. That one can't be used in a dungeon. Can't be used in a dungeon. Can't enter dungeon when mounted. Oh, can't enter combat when mounted. My brain. My bad. Whoopsie. So, there's like very select ones that can enter dungeons. Like the Lime Bikes. <laughs> they made a lot of these these little scooters. These these there's a lot of scooters, Jesus Christ. But these scooters can enter the dungeon because it doesn't say it can't enter the dungeon. So I would assume it can. I know there's only a few private servers that actually allow some mounts inside of the dungeons. Not all of them do, which is, you know, fine. Oops. What's that? Huh. That looks pretty neat. You have that one as combat. Interesting. Okay, so Perry Cave. Let me go ahead and grab my stuff. Unlimited. Oh, so you can just keep doing it? Okay, that's what I like to see, but can you do both? Yeah. This one is its own. Uh hold on. Ooh, new rewards, what is it? Okay, same old stuff. Oh, I just bought a warrior, didn't I? Oh no, no I did not. Why did I give this one? That's only for... Wait, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, so only Warrior has stuff for this? <laughs> huh? That's not right. Motherfucker, do I look like a warrior to you? Explain yourself. But this is actually pretty neat. You have a PvE pack for, like, you know, going into your dungeon. Into, like, a certain level. Just to, like, bring up a weapon. That is actually very cool. I like that. But the fact that I only have a warrior <laughs> reward in here concerns me. So can I use this too? Yes, I can. Okay, so you can use both the limited and unlimited. That's nice. I like that. Oh, and they have the same thing the official server has. The blessing as you're inside of the dungeon, so your stats get increased along with a couple of other perks. I like how they've made the shading look a lot better. Like, it's a lot more, what's the word, vibrant? Which looks absolutely fantastic. It is using my potions, though, <laughs> which is fine because, you know, those potions aren't going anywhere. So pretty easy to solo the dungeon so far. I kind of wish I had a charm for this. Charm. 
should grab all those. Here, come out and help me. Okay, so, thing I want to do. Can I have poison, cleanse? Yep. Hear that. Thing I want to do is take my ass over here to this. Go talk to that little motherfucker right there. Where's his name? I'm gonna drink some water while I'm heading there. Oh wait, hold up, excuse me? Oh, okay, never mind. It does have to do with all your skills. Wait, has it always been like that? I don't feel like it has. Maybe it has, and I haven't realized. But I do need to start selling some stuff. It's like, holy crap, I picked up so much. Uh, shoes we can get rid of. Uh, that we can get rid of. This we can get rid of. That we can get rid of. Ooh, no, don't do that. Um, yeah, I was going to buy another bench just to make everything a lot easier on myself. Uh, where is thou bench? There it is. Or I could just take that too. That also counts as a bench. Oh yeah, you're up right now. Give me that. So now, what I'm going to need you to do is start scavenging the weapons we actually find inside of the cave. So that's one of the main things I actually wanted to come back and grab because that's going to be useful for us. It's a great thing I picked up the words, the book. <laughs> How many more teleports do I have? I have seven. Okay, that's fine. Where is the crystal? Preserve my soul here. Just in case I do die, which I don't think I will. But, you know, also if I need to travel outside, I could just use a uh, Song of the Sprite to come back. I'm surprised I haven't lowered that cooldown, honestly. Sad part is that um, they haven't added anything to where you can just go into mutated dungeons without having to make a second account so far, from what I see. Mutated instance. Oh no, okay, yeah, they have. Never mind. Okay, that's that's what I like to see. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. They also have a PvP mode, an auto equip mode. Huh. Interesting. That makes me have high hopes for the settings on the sprite. For now, you're seeing me clear slow. For now. And you'll witness the true power of Druid sooner or later down the road somewhere. <laughs> Over the rainbow. <laughs> oh my god. This is a fucking god tier dungeon item, Jesus. Too bad it's exactly it is a dungeon item. <laughs> Damn. Oh 
Stay hydrated, everyone. Okay, so no, uh, so far, no little password thing I have to put in. So no good boy or good guy uh, XP from what I'm seeing. My ADHD kicked in and I, I seen it and it didn't show up. That can also be a thing that happens. <laughs> I am looking forward to walking over there and seeing, well, walking over to the altar and seeing how many points I get for each of these as well. Easy journey to level 31. But like I said, I'm curious if they're going to make you go through the class change quests or they're automatically going to give it to you. Memories actually skipped that, so you didn't have to do that. So I'm curious if every other server also did that, or if they shortened it. And I wonder if they even gave, like, even better rewards among, like, all that. There's another reason why I like Memory too. is just because it's easy access to early yellow weapons as well. So you don't have to go through that struggle of crafting. But this is going to be a lot easier for me because this is like default druid to where I know my power. <laughs> and how I'm going to clear everything. Because you can use this hammer for, for quite a while. But you also want to find a hammer sprite like as soon as you hit level 30. Okay, let's 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 have a look at the Ah, there there go the skills. So you can see their their skills and what they have. So it doesn't tell us, like, it tells us this, this all costs one mana. It doesn't tell us the chance of this, like, occurring. I think this actually might be bugged, maybe? Get it bugged? Oh, I'll stop. Okay, so status effects still don't work. Certain status effects still don't work on bosses, such as stuns. Makes sense. Line still works though. That's really all I need is RNG blind. But RNG doesn't matter if you could still be poisoned, even if they do miss. <laughs> Oh, I was say, wait a minute, do I have my skill already? I guess it would make sense to just kill these two for XP. So we'll go ahead and do that. I was kind of thinking dungeons would give um, violet point points. Actually. We're going to keep this up because we actually don't know if they actually do for each boss. Depending on like what boss you kill. Wait, did I turn in that quest? No, I did not. Oof. What I'm going to do is just take it with me. 
just saying, you know what? You're not getting this. All right, all right. Pretty hefty XP. Pretty hefty for my level, at least. We're going to level up on the next skill. So now we got to go do the, yeah, this dude, the golem guy. Yeah, that guy. Who isn't total AIDS? <laughs> and now we unlocked, uh, cave. Not cave, uh, mining. Corrupted mines. Condemned mines, that's what it was. Corrupted mines. I think Howl's messaging me again. Push back. Not gonna gotta add like speed into my gameplay, to my normal druid gameplay. I forget about these. To where you gotta get them close and kill them within this range. I, I never just think about this. Like, I was about to say, it just went up one point. Does it just stay the same? Was what I was about to say. Remember, stupid. That was me. I want to see if I get points for uh, annihilating you. Ah, that does make me curious of what they did to the bunny capes. Did they make the bunny capes a little bit more interesting, or did they keep them the same? Well, let's find out now. Bunny capes are blue. God damn, there are a lot of metals here. Okay, no. Bunny capes are still the same. Nothing has changed but them. Note it. And now I got two. I feel like it's every one minute that I gained a point. Okay, no. I didn't get anything for that. taking him out for a nice dinner I do hope I get a hammer right now at least he's out of the dungeon that'd be nice a really good hammer just until I can get my hammer sprite You know, the fact that they gave uh, wolf form, well, all the forms, like immunity to transformation, I'm pretty sure that cancels out the mechanic for that uh, trickster boss. Can't remember the actual name of that for that boss.
Oh, that's what I should be doing. Recalling you now. And scavenging. Uh, shoes go in the okay. Not the mud. Hold on. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, bro? God damn it, dude. You're so far behind. What the fuck, man? Because ADHD, I forgot again. <laughs> am I gonna keep blaming it? Yes. Yes, I am. You're who's gonna stop me? I guess we're gonna use you. Okay, never mind. Apparently, your happiness is not happening. There we go. We're gonna use you to pick up my loot. So, another thing that I haven't been paying attention to is sprite speed. Okay, yeah, sprite speed seems to be alright. A lot faster than the official server. Great. That's always a plus. That's all that I'm looking for is for it to be faster than the official server. So I'm not the only one who complains about sprite speed. <laughs> I can definitely tell you that much. Okay. That's cool. So I can go out and level my sprite. So let's go here and go to him now because I don't want to halt too much progress on that. Hi, how you doing? Hi. What the fuck, man? Oh yeah, it's supposed to be in here. There it is. I was sitting here like, wait a minute, bro, dude, you're, you're hoeing me. Ah, you gotta choose, Sag. I was kind of hoping there would be no choosing involved, but, you know, it ain't. It bees like that sometimes. It, it definitely does. Actually, I didn't even need to choose that magic one. Because we can actually wolf form pretty easily in here. But... You know what? Hey. What I do want to do is turn off condemned mines. Hold up. There is one more quest that I just realized. Because I'm pretty sure this guy holds on to that book. Yeah, n okay, no, he doesn't have it. I was say, normally he holds on to a book that we didn't have to come back and give later. But it doesn't look like he's holding on to it this time. Um, where is my book? Yeah, there he is. Oh, I can, uh, open more of these. I keep forgetting.
So my question is, how far does this novice card go? Because every every Grand Fantasia so far only stops at level 30. It stops at level 30, then it gives you no more rewards, which are basically really good motivators. That's for freaking sure. To keep going. Really good motivators to keep going. So there goes my revives. XP. Gave me something else. I can throw these out. But I am thankful for the XP. Okay, I had to make sure that nothing in here popped up. It said amulet. I think I missed it. Oh, I think it's talking about this, because this is all inside of a, well, most of this is, is Brazilian. Okay, okay. Gives a lot more XP. Love to see it. As for you. Time to get back to level up. That's another reason why I didn't, like do all that cooking and stuff when it came to like Sprite Island because it was so annoying to try and get going. Ah, oh, magic. So far, out of all the druids, I I do kind of like the official server druid a lot more because it actually dedicates itself and the skills between both magic and physical damage. Which is weird to say, you know. Ah. Uh. Still the curse of misfortune. Alright, class change is coming up. One more level. Ah, oh, Wolf's wrong spell. Oh, 
Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and start picking up the wood and stuff. How much did the... Uh... Yeah, okay, decent amount. For like one run. Oh, okay, I just got stuck in animation for that one. Not surprised it gave me scrolls and not, uh, the jellies. I was kind of curious if they, had, if they had mutated quests, too. Mutated orders. That would have been actually, like, really interesting to see. Then you would add, like, an even bigger reason to fully do mutated runs. Hey, hope you're ready to cough up that watch, too. So both of them don't... Both quests don't need you to kill greed. Only this quest needs wants you to kill greed. Okay, you do have weakness, but do you have misfortune? No, you do not. So I shouldn't be getting hit by misfortune. Oh yeah, you drop a book too. I totally forgot about that. Huh, interesting. Hopefully Sprite Forest quests don't go black. That would suck so much. Oh, they don't even go fucking green and they stay yellow. That, that would ultimately suck. So, I wonder, do you need... Yeah, that's gonna be interesting to see. Do you need keys? In memory, you don't need keys. I'm not sure about... Violet. Because if Violet doesn't need keys, too, that would be a good trend for each server to, like, actually follow. Where the hell did you guys come from? So we should have gotten our quest done too, right? Yeah, courage. Okay, we got courage done. Okay, kill one more and then we're good. Oh, there it is. I'm already stuck in combat, so I kind of have to kill him. Oh, shit. I totally forgot about this. Well, we're out of this anyway. We're out of, uh... 
I say we're out of the this gear range anyway. I totally forgot about this. I've been playing I've been playing so much of a uh, memory to the point where I forgot gear enchantment even existed. Ooh, let's not turn these in. I almost made it. I almost made an oopsie. Um we're gonna unhighlight this because oh wow that went dark. So that's not gonna be looking good for the other quests inside of Sprite Forest. Unless they've changed it. So do I oh I almost went cleric. Do I have to do this quest? I hope not. Whoops. Oh, darn it. Do I just talk to you and that's it? Okay. Okay. And they give you all of your other stuff too. Fucking fantastic. You love to see it. Even if it is one, it helps. Okay, so now I have this. Way more combinations that to actually like play around and test. Because the last ones really don't have, like, too much formation to them. Okay, here's Brave. Dear God, in the fucking half? Dude, okay, that's actually interesting to say. You don't have to carry fucking Staff Ford. That is fantastic. You don't have to carry staff forward. Perfect. Okay. What the fuck is launch? Is that spell speed? Is that what's going on there? Oh shit. How was talking to me? I totally forgot. I got really absorbed into this because I only got like a another hour. Well, not another hour, like a few more minutes. It already feels like an hour has passed with the movement speed. That's that's the crazy part that's puzzling me so much. I don't think I'm used to that right now. <laughs> oh, there's there's events going on for the whole Easter event. There was like a few people who participated in the Easter event. If you get first place, you get a oh, you get a Violet Wish plus a costume show. A chosen costume kit. Interesting. 
And if you get second place, you get a hundred magic clay and a chosen outfit kit. Third place gets a 75. 75 uh, magic clay and the chosen outfit. Interesting. For the participation tish, bleh, participation reward, you get a you get a sacred magister mount. Huh. Okay, if I would have known about that, I would have tried to join in. But I'm also joining into the server like very, very late, so that's also another thing. Ah, dude, we don't have any more portable skill books. That would have been nice to have too. Portable skill books are always nice, so I don't have to keep going all the way back and forth to the skill instructors. I mean, they're nice. It's nice to keep using the skill instructors, but it also feels nice to actually like be able to not have to keep coming back. See, usually at this point, I would be in a situation to where I can't get any of these skills. Well, not well, not get any of these skills. I can't like how do I say it? I usually have enough gold for like, you know, a few things because as you level, Druid starts to get more and more stuff and it starts to overwhelm you because it's like every two levels hey here's a thing here's a new thing go back here's another thing here's another thing because like i said druid has a lot of skills and it's mostly dealing with the transformations and i'm hoping as of right now hold on there's a little thing that i'm hoping they do they're doing is the transformation gets its own bar it does fantastic this is something i love a lot for any servers please try and implement the whole druid thing to where if druid transform it gets its own hotkey down here because it is troublesome trying to go shift one shift two shift three shift four that is very time consuming and it can honestly kill it get a lot of people killed <laughs> a lot of, a lot easier this is just transform a whole new kit so i can just put this in here this in here this in here transform back boom there you go i don't have to have another bar for it or anything i could just transform my skills Try and implement this, please. It is very important for druids. Or any other character that, you know, has transformations. Like um Archer. Archer also has a transformation too. It's 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 a stance change. A stance change is also important to have that set up as well. So both Druid and Archer need both Druid and well no, when does it start? I think it starts around like well, you guys get what I mean. Both Sage and Archer, like, line, job line, need that. It is, it is just crucial. Too bad bird form isn't 100% speed. <laughs> So right now we're going to be playing with bird form. Even though we don't have a staff at the moment, that's that's an issue. It also the dungeon also has to drop the staff or a um, hammer. Only an axe, sword, or oh, great sword. Hmm. There's the next hostin too. Funny enough, I actually like, kind of like this costume, except for this. I hate this hat. This hat bothers me. 
I never use it, use it just because it looks so freaking weird. But I do like, I do kind of like this. But this is also looking nice too. If you could have gave me some bunny ears within that, that would have been awesome. Would have been very awesome. This is where gear changing comes in. Got to keep using legacy gear until I get a sprite that will... Oh, wait, hold up. I thought about it. The level 6 sprites are probably mixed... Well, yeah, mixed in with the level 20 sprites. It has to be. Fuck. Let me go back in make sure the dungeon does a reset. I'm not sure how long you would have to be outside of the dungeon for it to reset. Okay, it's still fine. Turn this in. Turn that in. Amazing you don't get tired. Okay, 100% chance up. I still don't understand this. Can I sell this? No, I can't. Why does... Why does this only give... Or am I confused? No, I'm not. Okay. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> we all can agree that that's weird, right? I don't feel like that should be like that. I shall throw this out into the Shadow Realm. Noted. Uh, I am very puzzled by that. Very, very puzzled by that. Fuck it, we're just gonna... Clean this up now. Yeah, it's going to be way faster clears now. Because I have way more damage up time. Way more DPS is what I should have said. I don't have to wait for skills to come off cooldowns or anything anymore. Bird form is fantastic as soon as you get it. Wait a minute. The hell? I'm not earning anything right now. Is there a quest I haven't done? Or is it bugged? Ooh. Wait, no, it's not bugged. I'm out of XP range. Yeah, I'm out of XP range for this. So if anything, I should run past these guys. Even though they do drop the reputation stuff. I guess we'll see the reputation stuff later. Actually, go with me. Hi, how you doing? With how this is set up, I can actually do this.
The blessings have always been like pretty strong. Not like super strong though. There we go. And hit. I guess I was wondering if they changed uh, dungeon titles. No, they did not. The dungeon titles are basically still the same. What the fuck is this? Oh, gas collection? Hmm. How the hell did I even earn that? Here's the thing. The <laughs> The sad part is the only thing Druid is summoning is suffering for it's its talents. If its talents was so much better, it's no longer suffering. It's the talents that are the fucking issue. Just saying, dude. Hey, if you still have old, because that's the thing that boosted like Wolfhorn for uh, the official server. Like as soon as I got that, dude, I was golden. It does make me interested to see like what are the other changes they did to all the talents, though. Because these talents, I'm extremely curious in. Did they leave them the same or did they buff the shit out of them or leave them different? The fact that that's like. Physical reduction is great. Just straight up physical reduction without having to deal with anything else. Right now, I'm not dual wielding, so that's fine. Uh, I don't have staff on, so that's also fine. Here's the thing. I just realized. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. That's exactly what I just, I thought. I was like, here's the thing with magic build. Magic build is a lot more valuable now. Like, very, very valuable like Jesus Christ Forest Warrior mm-hmm okay yeah that's what I like to see Spirit Wolf was also a thing, so that also makes me kind of curious on that. The 
as long as Spirit Wolf doesn't have <laughs> doesn't have fucking um what is it? What do you call it? Uh Magic. Magic damage. That was fucking hilarious. When I first like found that combo when I was first started playing Druid, I was sitting here like Spirit Wolf has magic damage inside of his combo? Why? <laughs> Because it was actually funny. It was just sitting here like, you know, wolf form is like all about physical damage. Like if it was like 5% physical attack, everybody would have been like, all right, that's cool. But the fact that it has magic in it, it's like, what the fuck is this? Hi, stupid. How you doing? Haha, <laughs> you blind. Uh, change this around. Like I said, it's it's fun right now. It's not supposed to be like extremely difficult, you know. That this is normal, like Grand Fantasia. Well, eh, a little bit better than normal. This is more like an easy mode, it feels like. Because the talents are a lot more... A lot more useful. When it comes to the um, official server, it's a little bit more difficult. Then you would go to... Memories, which is like focused on playing with a team. Going in with a party, you know? It's more focused on that. So if you want like the actual like party experience and going in dungeons with parties, how they were basically intended, then memories. <laughs> I'll keep advertising memory. I mean, it, it's actually a really good server. I'd say, like I said, they're just early on right now. They have a lot of ideas that they that they kind of have to figure out and you know put on paper. Hi, how you doing? But a portable skill book would also, like I said, would be nice. It's just one of those little quality of life things that that it's just great to have. So you don't take too much away from your uh, farming. Sometimes he's all the way over here. Ah, oh, not this time. I say this is usually his favorite spot to be in. Then I have to walk through all the hounds. The other spot is over here. I never see him at Spider most of the time. I will say that. I like how the music just disappeared. It's just so fucking quiet now. Oh, for the first time, I think he actually might be a spider. Either that, or he's down here. Because he does pop up, like, all the way down here. And he spaces sometimes. And I probably missed him. Probably missed him down the line. He has several hiding spots. Oh no, don't tell me he's in the classic spawn behind me bullshit.
Okay, no, he's not. Am I blind? Maybe I can't. Maybe I am. Wait, doesn't he normally sit right there? Wait a minute. Yeah, Norton? Doesn't his partner normally sit right there? Is this fucker actually invisible? <laughs> Okay, let's go check uh, Rube. One more time. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, normally this area is his favorite spot. Like, what the fuck? I was sitting like, wait a minute. Normally he's among the hounds. If you can just like get movement speed going, you can just totally skip all this. Like, meow. And there you go. So I wondered, did they change anything on this? Surprise Easter hats. We got, we got something out of it. It goes in here, and it's also a tin. Okay. That is, that's pretty much it. Ah, another fellow priest. Hi. So what is this? Ah, it's a title. That's what it is. Okay, that's pretty neat. Pass the test of love one. Interesting. Okay. So that is basically it. For um, the dungeon. So we power leveled all the way up to 31. So we're now back to Sage. So now we gotta basically level catch up <laughs> to the dungeons. Or either we're gonna be very low for a while. What the hell is going on here? Oh, he's still assigned to me for some reason. I'm sure that'll fix itself later on down the road. But yeah. That is uh that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one tomorrow. And to then, well, maybe tomorrow if I don't get caught up in working on my game. Oh, I just got a message from them also.
Oh, that, that was like 30 minutes ago or 40 minutes ago. Okay, I got to dip. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.